Nothing new there. He has been so good in the early part of the season. And Scotty Reynolds with a foot on the line. Hits for the two in the first score of the game. Off balance. Good post defense by Fisher. St stood his ground. And Reynolds, oh, what a move. And the tip follow will go for Pena. Pena hit, hitting the offensive glass, gets the tip back for two. Hold down the middle for the Cats. Although the big guy can step out and hit one as well. That one from 18 feet away. He certainly improved that mid-range jump shot. Wide open outside is Stokes. That's his shot. Great. Excuse me. He's got a great pass outside from inside out from Cunningham to Stokes. And off the miss. Fight for the rebound. An unselfish play inside from Clark to Cunningham. Good job by Shane Clark to run down that loose ball. Reynolds jumping in front of the pass and protecting it well to keep Gordon Watt away from him as he lays it in. Did a good job, as you mentioned. Scott shielding with the body. Scotty jumped in the passing lane. Next whistle. Flaherty thought he was going give and go. Problem is, if somebody doesn't go, you can't really give. <laughs> give, and then he gave it away. And Stokes makes him pay from the other side. No hesitation right there from Corey Stokes. The ball gets thrown ahead to him. He's ready to shoot it and knocks down his second three of the night. Ron Cottrell had a timeout coming at the next dead ball, but he bound. That's a good look by Reynolds. He set that up himself, took two defenders with him, and then spun back to find his open teammate. Nice to see Shane Clark put that up. He'd missed his first couple tonight. But pressure with ease. And get another open look, and it's drilled by Reggie Redding. Katz is sharing the ball very well. The ball reversal from Fisher to Redding. And Fisher got it. Corey really working on an in-between game where he doesn't go all the way to the hoop and doesn't shoot the three. He pulls up and knocks down a nice 12-footer. Good ball movement again. Really nice pass from Reggie Redding. A little high, a little low high, actually, as he found Pena cut into the basket for the easy dunk. Be able to do the things that you want to do efficiently so that you're in a good rhythm. Yeah, I think that's just Jay's philosophy. He's not focused on the opponent. He's focused on how his team is playing, both offensively and defensively. Using screens to set up the shooters and now feeding the post. And on the turnaround, Pena got it. Nice little turnaround jump shot. Antonio made one of those late in the pen game on Tuesday night. Looks like he's worked on that move in practice. Just that little step back fadeaway jumper. The point guard come up with a block shot down on a low block. Great pass from Reynolds to Shane Clark for the dunk. That is pretty. Beautiful bounce pass there, right underneath the arm of the defender. Shane Clark catches it in stride and dunks it. And I don't know, as this game wears on, the Houston Baptist has any answer to try to stop Villanova defensively. And it produces the turnover. They caught Watt there in no man's land. And Fisher, untested on the way to the hoop. Corey finishes two straight in around the bats, that time with a right-handed layup. Looping pass to the inside. That's not going to work at all. And Reynolds showing the good speed finishes at the other end. Cats have been able to turn their good half-court defense into some easy opportunities. Scotty Reynolds ahead of the pack. Came open. He'll take it and hit it. So he, even, he really looks good shooting that ball from the perimeter. He's knocked down two of three tonight. 42 seconds left in the half. That's Stokes. Oh, my. Yep. Good use of the bounce there. Two hard dribbles right. He pulls up from about 18. In minutes, but they are very hopeful to have him back soon at full strength. Stokes bombs away again from the outside. His third three-pointer of the night. And a good ball reversal to Reynolds wide open. Yep. Villanova's done a great job of that all night. Starts the ball in the right corner. Back to the top of the kick. Swing to the left corner. Scotty Reynolds ready to shoot. And a good job by paying you to take it right back outside. Reynolds hitting on his second straight three. Well, you know a little bit about that. Reynolds got it. Yet another from three-point range for Reynolds, his third three-pointer here in the second half. Great job by Corey Fisher. Got in the lane with a spin dribble, kicked it out to Scotty Reynolds. You can imagine the first answer is when your team is 0-6, you don't want to be coming in to face Villanova here. Look at Reynolds. Oh, oh my. Oh. How about that? Many Nova fans are a little reminiscent of the Clemson game last year in the first round of the NCAA tournament when the Cats were making that great comeback. Scotty with that same up fake 
drew the foul, hit a four-point play to put Villanova in the lead against Clemson last year. Now they're chanting his name down in the student section. You can understand why. Just hit a four-point shot. I'd want it, too. That one's for two, and he got that one. He's got 23. Great use of the shot fake. Two dribbles right, pull up, mid-range jump shot. Certainly right now. And what they did to Michigan State last night, well, I mean, they, they could have won that game by 40 or 45. And obviously, Michigan State's a quality opponent on the road. Five and a half left to go. That's Stokes for three. Got that quick release, Scott. He had that barrel in his hand. Half a second off it went. You're going to see a couple of guys who hadn't gotten in the game get a chance to play here for a couple of moments. But first, Stokes, yet another three. That's his sixth. And he's got 20.